Hello, it's Mark Lennon with your video thought for the day. So this week, I'm going through some favorite passages of some very dear friends of mine. Now, these are people who spend a lot of time studying the Bible, praying, uh, deeply walking with God for decades in many cases, and in most cases, probably in every case. But I've asked these people, um, if I could take the time to share with you the verse or passage that really speaks into their life. For some, these are life verses. For others, uh, these are verses at this time of life. But the one I want to share with you today is one from a dear, dear lady. Her name is Diane, and those who know her love her and know what... what um, uh, uh, deep waters God has moved her through, especially within the last year of her life. Uh, she's lost her husband of many years and, and, and really has, in service to God, sought God in the midst of some of the most difficult times of life. And she shared with me uh, uh, and, and others uh, the passage that really has been blessing her. I hope it blesses you. But in the process of telling you this passage, I got to give you the backstory for me personally on this passage. I've always been a big U2 fan when it comes to music. I say always, since at least 1981, 82, that era. And, and back in their concerts, back in the day, they would always close with a song called 40. Now they put this psalm on an island. I mean, on, a, on, a, on an album. Uh, the, the song 40, that was the name of it. And, and they would sing, I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined and heard my cry. He lift me out of the pits, uh, uh, out of the miry clay. Now, I will sing, I will sing a new song. I will sing, I will sing a new song. How long to sing this song? How long to sing this song? He set my feet upon a rock and made my footsteps firm. Uh, many will see, many will see and hear. I will sing a new song. That's the song. And they would just sing it. And it would, how long to sing this song would be the way they echoed out in the song. And there were all of these rumors about where this song came from. And one of them was that it took them just 40 seconds or 40 minutes to record it, to write and record the whole song. They had extra time in the studio, etc. Well, the first time I heard it, I thought, no, that's Psalm 40. It got its title because of the psalm that it came from. And sure enough, Psalm 40 verse 2 is Diane's featured verse right now in her life. It's, it's that verse that sustains her and, and, and gives her meaning and purpose and hope and so many things. And, and that's the way this verse is for me as well. Uh, I love this verse, and I get a start in it with Psalm 40, verse 1. And in my translation that I use, the English Standard Version, it says, I waited patiently for the Lord. Now, I looked at the Hebrew, kava is the word for waited. And what it actually says is, I kavad kavadly. It, it's, I waited and waited. Uh, sorry, I waited patiently is the way they translate it. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined, he stretched out to me. Isn't that incredible? God stretched out to me and he heard my cry. He drew me up or lifted me up from the pit of destruction. Have you ever felt in your life like you're in the pit of destruction. He lifted me up from the pit of destruction out of the miry bog. Uh, I, you can translate that slimy mud if you want. It's that slippery, slimy, you can't stand up, you keep falling type place. He drew me out of the slimy mud, the miry bog, and he set my feet upon a rock and made my footsteps secure or firm. I love this. I love the way it teaches that God is a deliverer and that my goal is to wait patiently for his deliverance and to cry out to him in faith. He will hear my cry. Now, I may need to add that U2 line that they add, how long to sing this song, how long to sing this song, but I'm still singing it in faith because mourning 
can come for a night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. Morning could, those nights could last for a long time. They could be winter nights up in the Arctic region that go on for months. They may go on for years. But my job is to cry out to the Lord in faith, knowing he will hear my cry and he will deliver me. So here's your action step. First of all, find you some songs of deliverance, songs of faith. Um, the U2 song is a great one. Another one is uh, My Deliverer by Rich Mullins. I think maybe I can put links to both of those down below, meaning Brent Johnson can put links. And then uh, take, a, take a step today to pray for patience as you cry out to God. That's your video thought for the day. Another one tomorrow.